Access to abortion again taking center stage in Washington. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham introducing new legislation that would federally ban most abortions after 15 weeks. The bill comes less than two months before midterm elections in November. Democrats sounding off about it, also putting some Republicans in a tight spot. Some are shifting their pre-midterm messaging away from abortion, instead focusing on President Biden and rising inflation. There's a narrative forming in America that the Republican Party and the pro-life movement is on the run. No, 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 no. We're going nowhere. We welcome the debate. Graham's bill would only provide rare exceptions for abortion, including for rape, incest, and to save the mother's life. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell says most of his Republican colleagues would rather let states handle abortion laws. Democrats are calling the bill extreme and hope it will motivate midterm voters. And ahead of those midterm elections here in Virginia, Congresswoman Elaine Loria and her opponent, Jen Kiggins, are arguing over abortion. Loria has criticized Kiggins for her views on the topic, saying that politicians should not ban any reproductive health care for women. Kiggins has said she doesn't support a total ba nationwide ban on abortion, but that she does support common sense restrictions. She said she's proud to be a pro-life candidate.